uh, Indiana's you know, and the United States. I think more Midwest, East Coast, famous for covered bridges yeah. and round barns. So we took the road map. We had actually a paper map, and I'm like, it says there's a round barn that way. Let's go. And we just went that. It was very fun because we could do whatever we wanted. And we found this guy. Oh, I, you can't see my husband's like jumping over the post there. Yes. There was this guy just in the in the bridge who was like, oh, that's creepy. <laughs> Don't go in there. Why is that guy in there? And he came out and he told us the story of the bridge. And it was fascinating. So right. you never know what's going to happen. All right. So oh, I went to the Indiana State Fair for the first time. I had never gone. I see the biggest pig. They win prizes for beautiful animals, fat pigs, <laughs> many things. There's amazing pig. animals. And my uh, husband got to meet Johnny Appleseed. Uh -huh. He was excited. OK. OK. All right, so I don't live there anymore. To, to go to Indiana. <laughs> that was that. Yeah. So actually, Canada I I've been many places. You know, a third of my life outside. But when I came back to the U.S., I moved to Chicago, where I think John is from, and I moved seven years later to Central Mexico, and that's where I met my husband. I live in a city or town called San Miguel de Allende. Where, where do I live? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, that's a comprehension check. <laughs> yeah. Is that your house? Yeah, that's my house. I live in Mexico. No, I think I live on this side. So the whole center of my adopted town is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And that makes, I love Chicago. I love the architecture of both. Very different. Um, oh, that's from another presentation, but don't read that. <laughs> this is my family, my mom in the middle, my sister. So it's me in the front in the orange, two sisters in the back. She has but some of their sons here. Not everybody's there. My, my nephews, but not everybody's there. I think that's the only family What is that? Maybe it's called Don Latina. What? Oh, no, it's from another presentation. <laughs> time to. It was about Latin American culture, okay. and everybody had Latin roots except me, but Latin. I'm the only one that lives in Latin America. Boring story, but true. Never mind. So actually, I don't know if you want to read that. That was part of another presentation. United States. So I went that way, and many people go that way, or the border I see them. So that's an interesting visit, isn't it? And oh, okay. So that's my way. Where did I stay in Mexico? Quality of life, weather. I just want to show you the picture. Food. Oh. So very colorful place and yeah, we shut down the whole center of the town to get married. Okay. Um, oh, so this is my Mexican family. This is a old photo, me and my husband, his cousins and his sister and nephew. It's an old picture. I think before we were married. And this is their Christmas. It's crazy. We dance, we sing, we play crazy games, and that's our one Christmas. It's, it's warm there, so. Okay, never mind, that's from another thing. This is Mexico. Some places I like in Mexico, Mexico City. Uh, I think that's Guadalajara, and this is Guanajuato. Some of my favorite places in Mexico. Okay. So you know it doesn't look like the U.S., right? Yeah. Just some cultural thing. Yeah. It's very colorful, like India. Mexican culture. Food. Oh. Tacos yeah. food. One of my favorite foods. Tacos remind me of the roti. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
Do you? Yeah. yeah. This uh, reminds me of a curry. It's different curry. I made it one a few times, and my my recipe had 48 ingredients. The oh. same. 48. Oh, great. Uh -huh. It took me about three days to go shopping and to make it. And then people come over, and it's on. <laughs> Ten minutes. <laughs> Ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Finished. Uh, she got it. <laughs> Alright, uh, it's really a good task. So an important uh, celebration is called Day of the Dead. So we celebrate, actually we have a similar thing, you know, when you uh, gesture that poem and doing the trade. Yeah, yeah. At, on Day of the Dead, at the uh, end of uh, October, beginning of November, you write poems to make fun of people's death. Oh. So you can make fun of your teacher. It's the only day that you can like make fun of your teacher, your mom, oh your classmates God. of how they're going to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's in a fun way. Yeah, yeah. it's important. It's cultural. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. In um, Mexico. I'll try to uh -huh. find one. I did do a present. Okay. I'll try to find one later. I don't want to make it up on the spot. It rhymes. Uh, and funny. you usually do it in Spanish, but I did a workshop in Colombia. And we, we actually did it. No, we did it in Spanish, yeah. but I did one in English too. Yeah, so that's the only day you can actually like poke fun at other people. So they celebrate death and build altars. It's very beautiful. It's beginning of November. Okay. And a piñata that's uh, popular all over the world comes from uh, Mexico, I, I believe. I don't know where the origins, I believe. And you basically you beat that thing with a stick. And candy falls out, and then kids run and grab, and then start crying because they didn't get any kind of food. But this is popular at Christmas, at birthdays, any celebration you will find. So no, I just um, my husband, if he were here, actually, let's call. <laughs> if he were here, if you say, "Oh, I'm American," he will be like, "So am I." <laughs> because yeah. this is America. Yeah. Yeah, this is really wonderful experience for us. They are introducing their family, their life in US. It's really a very good time to know about them. She's basically American. She's from Indiana to Mexico. We are speaking about the daughter.